Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of the Stars. Last time we learned that Dr. Parkless was Hamna Cruz's father, of all things, and that Hamna Cruz was like the product of necrophilia, apparently. He was digging up girls' bodies and impregnated um, one of the girls, alive or dead, I'm not really sure. It seemed like it was dead, um, with like Hamna Cruz's seed, and then Hamna Cruz was born in this lab called Rimstera, which is here in the town of Danto. Um, then he went and he killed his father, Dr. Parkleys, and used a time machine to escape. Yeah, I'm trying my hardest to piece this all together. Then Bozen came out of nowhere and told us that Hamna Cruz's strength will be halved if we can destroy this lab. So we're in Danto now trying to destroy it. So first what you need to do is uh, talk to that guy above the weapon shop that I spoke to, and then go inside of this guy's house and talk to him. And then the siren will join, or will ring, not join, whatever. Anyway, before we go in here, make sure that you have that laser gun that we bought on the upper continent. It will come in very, very handy in this point, uh, in this dungeon, because this dungeon sucks. I hate it. It is like a shoots and ladders type dungeon. It is so, Terrible. So follow what I do exactly. Do not change anything from what I do. Those rose shoes are amazing. Let's see, oh, you can't equip them? That sucks. Uh, we'll give them to you, I guess. I think they're probably women only, I would imagine. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it lowers her luck by a bit, and it lowers her. Yeah, it lowers her. No, 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 no. I see. It lowers her speed, but it increases her luck which is really nice for those critical hits with her disc armor. So that's perfect. Uh, let's see, moving right along, we can get another treasure over here with a silver armor. Um, I think I said that those are just a tad bit better than the fire armor by like one point or something. Yeah, so we might as well equip it, I guess. Now that we have that, let's go over here to the next um, pit that we have to go down. And here we have the pedaloid and the legs. Let's see, just go after these guys, they're pretty simple, um, especially with Ray and his gun, it's so nice. The Pataloid has 121 HP, the legs have 132 HP. Yeah, that's what I like to see, sharp hits! There are some much stronger enemies in here, and if you- actually, I probably should. I probably should just use magic against these guys. Um, I will in the other battles, because there is not a boss fight at the end of this dungeon. That is the one reprieve that you have from this hellacious shithole place. It's so bad. This really is like Fantasy Star 2 dungeons right here. This is just terrible. Okay, so now what I want to do is head on down here. Let's see. Keep on going. Down to this hole right there. Okay, perfect. In doing so, we get a treasure! Grab a mirror, awesome. And then let's see. Okay, so now when we hit these white panels, what that does is it actually teleports you to a floor up. This is so terrible. Um, then I believe that we want to take this one over here as well, and then continue on our way, just following our path. Okay, perfect. Now what you want to do is head way down over here inside this corner and take this furthest pit. Okay, got that done. And here we get the disc armor. If you didn't get it from the fish back in the ocean, now is your time for that for uh, Leona. Definitely go ahead and give it to her. Okay, keep on going, and we're going to hit the first black pit that we have to go down. Perfect. Go ahead and grab this treasure. Get a barrier. Awesome. And then just keep on going all the way back up to the uh, first floor and then down and around over towards this pit right there. We're almost through with this place, thank God. This place is just a nightmare. There are some more enemies in here besides the Pataloid and the legs. I just haven't encountered any yet, oddly enough. Oh, here we get a useless rat tail, but thanks anyway, game. Oh, here we have a new enemy, the Robot A. There's a Robot A and there's a Robot B. And uh, if we don't encounter the Robot B, I'll just tell you what they do. Basically, Robot A and B combine 
into a robot called Albeda, which is pretty damn strong. Um, they can also kind of combine to do like a super attack. So if I get into a battle with robot A and B and they have to combine and all that kind of stuff, I'll show it. Um, but I'm not going to go out of my way to find it. By the way, the Albedas can drop mirrors, and they have 227 HP, because I doubt that I'll actually see them. The Robot A's have 143 HP. Yeah, yeah I don't want to fall down that pit, because I want to get that treasure. Oh, here's Robot A and B. Um, I, I'm, you know what? Let's just guard. I'm just going to see if they actually do combine. Uh, I'll give them a round to do it. If they don't do it this round... Hey, hey! They did it! Yeah. Okay, so that's exactly what's going to happen. Let's see. Let's have you guys fight. We'll use a uh, Bolt 2 on him and a Bomb 2 as well. Because, again, you really don't need to be saving your MP. And Bolt works very well against these, um, these, uh, these robots there. By the way, the robot bees. You might want to keep them alive because they can drop wind shoes. They have a four out of 256 chance of dropping the wind shoes, which are really, really good, better than the rose shoes. So do keep that in mind. Do try for a drop from the uh, from the robot bees for that. Oh, awesome, got a moon drop, perfect. Fall to our doom. And now we're in the, I don't know, central lab place, and there are switches all around. Yeah, this place kind of looks like a five-sided die with that thing right there that I just passed up in the middle being the last switch that you want to hit. So just go around to all the um, the other four switches in here, hit those, and then hit that one in the middle last. Oh, here we have the last monster in here, the New Moon. Let's see, we'll go ahead and use magic against them as well. You know what, Cody? Uh, since there's so many enemies and your magic power sucks, we might as well spread out your um, your damage. Uh, the new moons have 123 HP. They can cast Fire 2 and drop Musha suits. They have an 8 out of 256 chance of dropping those. At this point, that armor sucks. Um, but hey, it's good to sell, I guess. Yeah, I knew I was making a good choice whenever I had him cast a Storm spell. Very nice. Kind of strange that there's ninjas in here. Like, it's full of robots. And then randomly on the last floor, they have a whole bunch of ninjas. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Oh, by the way, if I didn't say so before, there is a great map on game FAQs uh, that will get you through here relatively painlessly. And now that we've uh, hit all the switches, let's go ahead and flip this one as well. Uh-oh. What's going on? Well, the goal was to come here to destroy this lab. I'm surprised Homna Cruz isn't, you know, here to destroy it. Well, there we go. Wait, that doesn't look like the lab that we came into, though. The lab that we came into is teeny tiny. Where's that lab? Huh. That's weird. Oh, hey there. Oh, it's all the workers. I'm glad that they survived. Although we didn't see any workers in there at all. The laboratory has been ex... Explored? Explored. Not exploded. Explored. <laughs> oh. Yikes! Uh, you're probably right about that. You guys might want to get on out of here. Wait, Decatus? We were in Danto. Why are we in Decatus all of a sudden? What's going on here? Uh, yeah? Oh. Yikes! Burn Danto or burn Decatus? Oh, so we can't even tell them yes or no. They're just gonna go. This is so weird. So we were in Danto and we blew up a lab in Decatus, so now the people in Decatus are leaving? I guess? Is anybody still left in Decatus? Oh, there's Uncle Save and this random guy. Uh. -oh. So, yeah. Um, only those workers in Danto actually left, and the mayor as well. So, that's just unusual, to say the least. But at this point, we can go to Kodo. So let's head on over there. And remember that blacksmith 
who was really good at his job and wanted to, you know, make all sorts of weapons and armor and not knives and pots? Well, we can recruit him now. Well, what happened? He hid himself in the temple. Uh, maybe we didn't challenge him enough. If you actually go inside the front door of the temple, there will be the Uncle Save clone in there, so don't worry about it. Just go back here for secret passage. Hey there. Oh. 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 Yeah. Sure. That'd be amazing. You don't really make it easy to find you or recruit you. Too bad he didn't let us recruit you the first time that we ever met you. Okay. So now let's head back to Old Hill. Since all those people from Decatus or Danto or wherever the hell they're from moved in, the town should be different, more lively. Wait, you renamed my town? What's wrong with you people? Why'd you rename my town? Well, they are from Decatus. That is kind of what they do. What exactly did they do? I mean, yeah, they're acting all snobby and superior, but did they, like, they haven't burned the town down or anything. Yeah, it's not as big as Decatus, but it's still nice. Wait, what do you mean you're gonna have all the items at the warehouse? You can just take all the items. What the hell? Oh my god, these people, there's just no pleasing them. What happened to all those kids anyway? Oh, this is the- are you still gonna whine about Tina? Ugh, I don't even know why I bothered with that guy. Maybe the adults are in the dance club now. Maybe they're just partying it up. Oh. Or the dance club is completely abandoned. How there's still music going on there is beyond me, but sure. There's a super plum guy that I don't care about. Huh. Or maybe the farmer's in there right now. I'm not entirely sure, because he's not out in his fields. No, he's just vanished. Yeah, 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 you selfish asshole. I know. Huh. I wonder if Gonta came over to his, uh, workshop yet. Let's go check that out, too. Oh, hey there. What's wrong? Oh. I don't think that anybody really cares how hard you're working, but sure, whatever you say. Here's our little exchange warehouse. Uh, we're trying, and the game's doing the best it can to make me not want to do that between the awful translation, not telling you what to do or where to go, um, NPC is not really guiding you on where to go, so you have to listen to, like, a casino? Like, okay, that, that, that to me is the major bad thing about this game. The NP, or the, um, the story will only tell you where to go one time. And then that storyline NPC will never say where to go again. So if you accidentally miss where you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to do, you are completely screwed in this game. Um, they never tell you where to go. They give you no guidance. It just sucks. Like, imagine playing this back in the 90s when it first came out with no internet, and there was no strategy guide for this game or anything like that. You just got a scant mention in Nintendo Power and Counselor's Corner. Like, that was it, um, as far as what to do or where to go in this game. Like, you, were, you just had to randomly wander around and hope to God that you were just, like, hitting the right switch. Wait, what? What's going on here? Are you kicking us out of our own town? What the hell? Wow, game. Wow. Oh, Hamna Cruz himself again. Or it's Jaguar. Or it's Godum. Who's Godum? Who's Jaguar? Who are these people? Brisbane. Huh. Wait, you're Jaguar, and you're telling me where to go, and you want me to hurry there? I thought... I don't know. I don't know. Great, and it's Decatus. But anyway, we have to go to Brisbane, 
next time on Let's Play Secret of the Stars. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.